Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we have an exciting problem to solve. It's called letter combination of phone number. And guess what? We will not only write the solution in Python, but also share implementation in various languages in the description below. So let's dive right in. Uh, imagine you have an old fashioned telephone keypad uh, and you want to find all the possible letter combination for a given number just like texting with an old fashioned phone. So we will be using Python to solve this problem and I will be guiding you through step by uh, step. So uh, for example, given digits two and three, we need to output all combination of uh, letters. So first uh, thing, we will need a mapping between the digits and corresponding uh, letters just like on the telephone button. That's where our phone map comes in. And then we will use technique called recursive effect tracking to explore all possible combination. So sound fun, all right? So let's code. First, let's handle the base case. If the input string digits is empty, we will simply return an empty list. And then we'll create our phone map and this will map each digit to its corresponding letter. For example, two maps to ABC, three maps to DEF, and so on. So if not digits return empty and phone map will be two, three DEF, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and yeah. So uh, next we will define a recursive function called backtrack. And this where the magic happen. We will explore each digit corresponding letter and recursively build the combination. So now uh, let's look at the heart of our function. So the backtrack function and this recursive function is where the real magic happens. So I want to spend some time breaking it down. So why recursive uh, backtracking? Well, recursive allow us to explore all possible combination by dividing uh, into each level of choice. And it's like navigating a tree where each node represents a choice. And we want to explore every possible branch. And backtracking, on the other hand, allow us to go back and explore different paths when we hit a dead end. So let's implement it. Dev backtrack combination next digits. And if len next digit equals zero, output append uh, combination, else for letter in phone map next digit zero, backtrack combination, plus letter next digit one. So uh, this part checks, uh, so uh, len zero, and this part checks if there are no more digits left to explore. And if we uh, reach the end of the digits, it means we have a complete combination. So we append it to output. Think of this as reaching a leaf in our tree of choice. And then uh, we have a backtrack uh, combination plus letter next digit from one. So now here's where things get interesting. If there are more digits to explore, we look at the first digit in next digit and find its corresponding letter from our phone map. Imagine the current uh, digit is two. That means we have uh, three choices, A, B, and C. 
and we will explore each choice one by one. So we add A to our current combination and call backtrack with the new combination and the remaining digits. So we backtrack, add B instead and again call backtrack. So finally, we backtrack once more time and uh, add C and call backtrack again. So this loop continue recursively exploring every possible combination for each digit. It's like navigating through every branch of the tree, ensuring we don't miss any possibility. And finally, we uh, call our backtrack function with empty combination and uh, the given digit and return the output. So output will be this backtrack empty digits and return output. And recursive backtracking is a powerful and elegant way to solve uh, this problem. And by understanding the logic behind the backtrack uh, function, we can appreciate the depth and efficiency of the solution. So let's uh, run it. So for given test cases to free, all looks perfect. So we can also uh, run it for unseen test cases. So let's see. And yeah, so our implementation beat 68% with respect to uh, runtime. I think if we rerun it, uh, it might be a bit different. So let's see. So yeah, now it's uh, 81 uh, milliseconds and I have even 34 with the same implementation. So probably the test cases are uh, quite different. So I reach even 96% of beating and 34 milliseconds, but the logic is uh, the same. And that's it. We have uh, implemented recursive backtracking solution to find all possible uh, letters combination of a phone number. And you can find the codes uh, in other languages like C++, Java, Rust, and more in the description below. And I hope you found this tutorial uh, and lightning. And if you enjoy it, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell for more exciting coding content tutorials and much more. And leave a comment if you have any question or suggestion for next uh, video. Uh, until next time, keep coding, keep exploring, happy learning.